Okay, so just a bit of background of what Terraria is. So Terraria is a game where you do mining, killing bosses, building houses for your NPCs, all that sort of stuff. So you just kill bosses over time, they get stronger and stronger and stronger, whilst you get stronger and stronger and stronger. So we're going to make a small series out of this, it's just me progressing through the game as a person who's played Xbox Terraria like twice. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoy the video and I'll see you now at the end. Uh, and by the way, so far I have got some lead armor, which I've got from mining. Uh, I've killed the Eye of Cthulhu once and I've hopped around on some floating islands and got some fleckling wings. So that's all I've got so far. Thank you for watching the video and I'll see you at the end. So we've done our mining, we've done our killing, we've done our collecting or whatever. And now we're doing a special event, this is so honest. Uh, the Blood Moon. Uh, it just happened out of nowhere. Uh, so we're doing it. You know? It's kind of easy, I've got this big stuff up here. Find more floating islands and stuff. Yeah. I had a potion that got me to that one over there, and I got some wings out of it, as you can see. Um, but still, we. So yeah, so we're just sort of we're just sort of waiting for this to be over. Really. completed the blood moon uh just a few more mobs left so yeah completed it it took a while but we finally did it you know pretty cool uh so let's just drop back down to base uh so yeah so we got quite a lot of stuff from that um, we got some, some different clothes and stuff. Um, yeah, we got two new shackles. I'm gonna keep my current one, my my warding shackle currently, um, because I I really want I really need the defense. I don't even want it. I I really need the defense right now. Uh, but I'm gonna sell these two, so that'll be useful. So we can get some some extra money, as you can see, selling around 20 each. And then we got 11 lenses now, I think. So, yeah, we'll be able to fight the uh, Eye of Cthulhu two more times. That'll be useful. We'll be able to either get some money or get some new armor. So that'll be really cool to have. Uh, so, yeah. So, once, it's, once it becomes fully daytime, we'll go and we'll get on our way to fighting the wall of flash again no to find the eye of cthulhu again <laughs> all right then guys uh let's go and i think i know where a demon altar is so we'll go over there now and we'll craft these eyes and fight them we're gonna wait until night time for that to happen. So, let's find something for us to do in the daytime. Gonna go and get to our demon altar. Which is just down here. As you can see, here it is. So, we have two suspicious looking eyes. And those will be ready for us to fight uh, in a couple of minutes. Uh, so, there's nothing for us to really do right now. Uh, so, I'll see you when we fight the eyes. Alright guys, so it's officially night time as you can see. 7pm. Uh, we have our two suspicious looking eyes. Uh, I think we're all ready. I've also bought this cat license that we're going to use after the boss fight. This is a little good job token, so let's start. <laughs>
it go. We have now defeated two Eye of Cthulhu's and we have 131 Demon Light Ore, uh, which is pretty cool. But first off, before we do anything, let's go into our house and let's use our let's use our cat license. Well, while we wait for the cat to return, or the cat to appear, even. Um, while, while we wait for the cat to appear, let's make some some demon light bars. Forty-three demon lights. It's pretty good. Um, so I think I'm just gonna craft everything else really. I have one already crafted, and then just have some left over. So light Spain and the war axe and then the fisher of souls and then we're going to sell the rest of our demonite up to the demolitionist up here all right so yeah now we've got our two weapons so we've got the light spain and the war of axe the, the, the war axe of, of knights, even. And yeah, so now we have all the different demonite things you can get. So, yeah. So I think the next thing we're going to want to do is find a couple more floating islands, because those are really useful. So let's go and expand our bridge. <laughs> So as you can see, we've reached the sky limit. We cannot go pretty much any higher. Uh, so now we're just gonna sort of fly around and look for a floating island, maybe. Who knows if we'll find one. Oh, and it seems we have found a floating island. So we're gonna need to build up to it. So let's get some wood and let's build up to it. need them right now. So let's hope it's not that. But yeah, something cool in here, I know from my time playing on the Xbox, I don't know if it's in this version, but in my, I think it should be, um, but it's like a, a weapon, like a star theory maybe? I can't remember the exact name. That might have been it though. the door back, maybe. Okay, door's back in place, all right. Oh, we got our, uh, ourselves another pair of legs and wings, but these ones are better, because these ones are lucky instead. Okay, and we also got some lead bars, so it's pretty decent. So let's take this chest, uh, and then let's keep on going, I guess. Uh, right now, also, I just want to point out that we are playing. We're playing in a medium world uh, on normal mode. But yeah, let's just keep on going. We'll go for our crimson over here. I think not our crimson, our corruption over here. We'll do some mining later on and get some better resources. But for now, we're fine with what we've got. For now, I just got full lead. Which is decent, it gives me like 11 defense. And then I got a bit of extra defense from all these things. So it's quite good. But yeah. So we have so I mean then we're gonna go and break two of the the orbs. Because then we can get some stuff, I believe. I think it means that a meteor will land in our world, which will be really useful for us, because then we can craft the meteor armor, which is a strong early game set. So yeah, 
let's just zoom through. Okay, the corruption's the next biome over, I think. So, we should be good. Yep, as you can see, we're here in the corruption. Uh, so, yeah, so I can break it with my axe, I believe. So, let's just... Oh, alright, I guess it's always a dead end. If you guys, uh, let me know in the comments if you guys prefer uh, glow sticks or torches. Uh, I can, I'll put a poll on the screen now so you can decide if you prefer torches or glow sticks. I don't really, I, I think I like the colour of torches better, but glow sticks are just a bit more versatile, in, really. So, you know, I don't know. I, pro I, I, I probably have used glow sticks more. Just because I don't, you can, you know, buy them and they're useful in the water and stuff. I like the sticky glow sticks, they just torch me too. Really. Okay, we have some shadow wolves to break down here. We went a bit far though, it seems. You might be stuck. Ah, that's unlucky. Guess we're gonna have to go back home. All right then. So we'll get back there, then we'll go down there. But we won't go all the way down so that we get trapped because that would not be good for us right now. All right then. We gotta go over here. And it's this one. So not this one, not the first one coming up, but the second one. Feels like I'm giving direction to someone. Uh, turn right on your second left. Alright then. Alright then, now we're in here. Alright then. Uh, we have 15. Let's hope that's enough. It should be. Yeah, we'll we'll have enough to get in there. There we go, and then now we can destroy this. Alright then. Okay. Now we have gun. Which will be useful to us for doing some more long range damage. So let's head back home. We don't want to spawn too many things. So let's place down our next chest. Just so that we have a bit more space. Alright, let's put all the things that we don't currently need in here. Alright then. There we go, that should be good. So now we have our unpleasant musket. Which will be good for us. And we have our 100 musket balls. So we'll need to get a couple more at some point. But still, it does 34 damage, which is our strongest weapon currently. So yeah, so let's just go and find something to test it on quickly. Can one shot the slime, which is really useful. Uh, so I feel like we should go and test our luck against Skeletron, uh, which we probably won't win, and then that'll be the end of today's video. Uh, so yeah, so we're just gonna go and test our luck against Skeletron because I would really like to get access to the dungeon because then we can unlock a water bolt. And uh, the water bolt, if you don't know, it, it's a powerful weapon, and sometimes it can be found early in top of the dungeon. Um, but, if you go into the dungeon without defeating Skeletron, the dungeon guardian will attack you, and I don't want to have to chance that. So I'm fine with dying, I'd just rather die fighting Skeletron than not finding a water bolt. Um, but yeah, because you never know, it's always good to have a chance at fighting a boss. 
you know, so we'll make a we'll make a basic arena with our with our 90 platforms and then we'll be good to go. Today's more of a test video to see if you guys are okay with watching this stuff, really. Uh, but yeah. Okay, we have our basic platform. It's, it's very basic. Um, so yeah, let's like Skeleton. We have six golden ones, which isn't too much of a boss. Okay. Go as far away as possible. And there we go. Okay. All right then. Oh, we're going to spin attack mode. That's not great for us. Really? But it means he isn't actually attacking us because he couldn't reach us. So let's, so first you gotta destroy his hands. Um, which we should be able to do. Let's use our musket. Cause that does a lot of damage. Okay, now he's just in the spin attack mode, which is good for us because it means he'll be able to hit us less. It's an intense fight. I feel like we might be able to pull it back though. This is just me, pretty much this is just me showing that you don't need to be good at throwing. You don't need to have the best stuff either. To be able to win, pretty much. Cause I, I, I am not the best at Terraria. I'll be honest. I just know some basic stuff. Like having a platform like this is good. Uh, and I have what? An extra two life crystals, and I'm in lead armor. With a ruthless malice, which is got for killing the eye of Cthulhu, an enchanted boomerang, a finch, and. I am going to mask and we've done it! We have officially defeated Skeletron. Uh, so next video is probably going to just be us exploring the dungeon, having a look around. So, thank you all for watching. Uh, uh, have a good day, and see you next time. Alright, so I just want to say thank you for watching my first Terraria video. Uh, I really enjoy playing this game, and... Hopefully, we'll get more videos out soon. Uh, they're probably going to be weekly or bi-weekly. I don't really know. It all depends on how I'm feeling, because this video is taking a while to get it. Uh, so, yeah. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.